Hey friends, this is Atif for Pure Well and welcome to the new update on Sushi Swap. Uh, today I want to show you how the price action of Sushi Swap has completed another bullish reversal move, and that is the bullish reversal cipher move that has been formed on the two-day chart. And I've also shared the complete buying and sell target for this trade at the Patreon as well. And I am also sharing the different harmonic trading ideas on the daily basis here. And if you would like to support me here, then I have also shared the link in the video description you can find there. And even in today's video, I am going to share these buying and sell targets with you. Uh, first of all, I want to show you this uh, daily time frame chart. And here, the price action has formed this broadening formation. And we can see that we have several touches at the resistance of this broadening formation. And we have several touches at the support. But the important thing that we have few touches at the support like we have uh, the retest of the support here. We have test here. The price action has tested the support here and here as well. But we have several touches, more touches at the resistance than the support. Uh, therefore, as much the price action will test the resistance or support, as much there will be chances that it will be broken out or broken down. And in this situation, we can see that we have more touches at the resistance than the support therefore we can expect maybe the price action will break out and here i have also placed the volume profile on the complete price action that is moving in this broadening formation and we can see that we have the traders interest to the upside at this level uh, that is here and to the downside and if i show you the traders interest to the downside then we have the interest of this level now the volume profile of the complete price action is showing that the interest of the traders is getting changed and we have the interest of the traders developed even below this support but below this zone we have a very very weak interest of the traders therefore we can have an extra spike up to this level where i have placed this uh, trend line uh, like we had here like we had here and uh, to the upside, we have the traders interest up to this level. However, I have also placed the moon phases indicator here on this chart. This is the uh, uh, new full moon and this is the new dark moon. The full moon represents the bullish move and the dark moon represents the bearish move. So we can expect that the price action can move to the downside up to this level. And once it will be moved up, then we can expect a move at least up to this new full moon and we can see that we uh, we are already at the support if the price action will be bounced to the upside from here then we can expect a move to this uh, at least to this a new full moon that is approximately at 25.5 dollars however this is the broadening formation and every time whenever the price action is moving to the upside it can form the higher than the previous high. Now I would like to show you uh, this uh, stochastic here that is already entered in the oversold zone and we already received here a bull cross uh, from the oversold zone and we had a green candlestick but again uh, but, uh, within the oversold zone the stochastic again gave the bear cross this blue line cross down this red line whenever uh, by the stochastic this uh, blue line crosses up the red line that is the buying signal and whenever uh, this blue line crosses down this red line that is the sell signal and especially whenever we receive this buying signal from the oversold zone that is a really very really strong buying signal and when we receive this sell signal here from the overbought zone that is a really very really strong sell signal like we received here and after that the price action dropped up to this support now from this oversold zone if we will receive again the buying signal that can lead the price action to this uh, resistance of this broadening formation like we had here and previously the price action has been forming the higher than the previous highs now i want to show you this cipher move the bullish reversal cipher move if we take a more closer look at the price action then while moving within this uh, broadening formation the price action has formed this cipher pattern that is the m shape but basically if we watch the the retracement levels of this m shape that forms a bullish cipher pattern that is more clear uh, that can be seen more clear on the two day chart and here i have placed the pattern tool to show you and here we can see that here we have this initial leg this is the initial leg then it has been retraced between 0.618 
to 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.382 to 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. It means that it has been moved down between 38.2% to 61.8%, and this is the percentage of this rally and then it has been projected between 1.272 to 1. uh, 1.414 uh, Fibonacci projection. It means that it has been moved to the upside from 127.2% to 141.4% and this is the percentage of this rally from A to B leg. Now as per the formation of the bullish cipher move, the final leg has been retraced between 61.8 to 0.786 Fibonacci retracement level. And this is the percentage of X to C leg. This rally, the price action has been moved down from 61.8% uh, to 78.6%. And this is the perfect bullish cipher pattern. And from here, we can expect a bullish reversal move. And this buying zone, or, or potential reversal zones start from $16.12 and ends up to $14.13. And as per the Fibonacci sequence of the bullish cipher, the price action can realistically move to the upside. That is the projection of C to D leg from 0.382 to 0.786. It means that it can be moved between 38.2% to 78.6%. And this will be the percentage of C to D leg. That starts from seventeen point six one dollars, uh, six nine dollars, and uh, ends up to twenty one point four five dollars. However, uh, as I've already told told you that the price action is moving in the broadening formation. Once the price action will be turned bullish from here, then we can expect that it will uh, form the higher than the previous high that is expected as per this. Uh, f a new full moon as per this moon phases indicator we can see that on the daily time frame chart the new full moon has been appeared here uh, at approximately 21.5 dollars however after every at 29.9 days the new full moon appears at this time we can see this a uh, new full moon was appeared here and so far 18 days have been passed for example if the price action will be moving to the upside and the new full moon will be appeared after 29.9 days approximately after 10 days then uh, we can set our sell targets according to the new full moon so this was the update so far i hope that you have liked the video then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well and if you would like to support me here at the patreon then i have also shared the link in the video's description you can find there take care goodbye